Baker. Yes. A long time you spent yes. being musical director of one of the biggest pop stars. Yes, yes. There's nothing like Whitney Houston. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> she must have liked you very much to stay such a long time under your wings. You know, that's a very interesting point because I, I, I never thought about it very much because really, I, all, after every tour, I thought I was fired. <laughs> <laughs> after every Why? after every time we finished touring, I I would go home and I would think, oh, they're never going to call me again. <laughs> but so, what, what gave you the idea? Because I never I never thought I did a very good job for her. I I, <laughs> I didn't think that I I I, I, I knew what kind of uh, artist she was. I knew how much how, how great she was, and so I never thought I came up to the same level. But you played with Freddie Hubbard and. Uh, the Ellington Orchestra, amongst yeah. others. Yeah. W when did that switch to pop come? After I had my daughter, my first child, and I wasn't making enough money. And oh. I, I was actually working with Joe Zavino, and I was at the Blue Note. We were just finishing one of our last nights at the Blue Note, and I, Joe asked me, he says, what are you going to do next? Right. And I said, well, Joe, I said, I've got to... I'm going to go start doing R&B music because I, I need to make more money for my family. So it was because of that, really. I see, I see. When you s started with Whitney Houston, yeah. uh, did it change also in, in terms of the jobs you got besides her? It, everything opened up a lot more uh, in terms of pop music and commercial music. So I found myself, I was also working with like Al Jarreau and... Um, uh, I did some a couple of things with. Um, at one point, I found myself working, you know, on same stage with Sting and Elton John, and um, and James Taylor at you know in Carnegie Hall with the, at the Rainforest Foundation. Right. Um, uh, I started working with Bruce Hornsby. Uh, different uh, pop, more commercial things started to open up. Oh, that's so, that's interesting. Because of that job. Did you ever do anything that you afterwards thought, oh, I better would have, wouldn't have done that? There is one thing that, I mean, I, maybe not in terms of work, but I, I think that there was a time where uh, I, there was a couple of mistakes that I made that I wish that I hadn't have made. Uh, but not musical? No, not musically. Not musically, but... Uh, I made some character decisions that maybe I would have would have not liked to have had happen with me. But other than that, musically, I never wanted to play R and B music, and I never wanted to play uh, uh, that kind of music. I always wanted to. I'm I'm basically a you know I'm a kid from Minnesota. You know, from play, <laughs> I used to play rock music. You know, I grew up playing rock and roll. I mean, hard rock right. and rock bands. So. I, I, I didn't really, I don't think I really liked R&B music that much. I liked rock, you know. Right. I, I yeah. wanted to play with The Who or someone like that, yeah, you know, right. or Led Zeppelin, I, that kind of music. So, but most of the, the job decisions that I've made were because of my family and try to support my, my daughter and my right. kids and my wife and stuff like that, so. If you, your daughter st started at about being in show business as yeah. a singer, for example, yeah. would you encourage her or try to take, talk her out of it? I would talk her out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I can understand not. that. I'm, I'm really happy that none of my kids are in the mu music business. Uh, I, 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 because it's only because I feel as though they've already been in it. Yeah, all right. You know, because just, you know, me being their father, they, they, they've already been in the business of me not being home, home yeah. and they've already been in the business of wondering when daddy was going to come back or how long I was going to stay or something. And I mean, I, I, I like the fact that they are making their own decisions and it's not necessarily in the music business because right. they can already sing, they can, they can play, you know, sure. they, they already have it naturally. So, and the music industry has changed so dramatically that um, 
since it's changed so dramatically, it, it's not any, it's not recognizable for what it for what it You're used right. to be. You're right. It's getting worse. I kind of look at it like, what you don't, you, you don't miss what you don't have. Right. And someone like me, I've you know I've been in the music business all my life. I might miss certain elements of that, right. but but the, but my kids, since they've never been involved in music like that or something. They don't miss it, and so I know. can understand that very, very. Good. Yeah, that's so, very nice. Yeah, I hope that you and your family will stay healthy. Oh, thank you. And <laughs> the jobs will stay good. Yeah, thank and you. Thank you for having this talk. No, thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Really, I love to be here in Switzerland. It's one of my favorite places on love the planet. It. I love it here. I <laughs> hope you come back. I I hope to come back uh, many more times. I really thank love you. it here. Thank you. Thank you.